Hey, it's Grant. Um, today um, I will be talking about my um, research project that I've been working on uh, for this semester. Um, my research topic that I've been working on is uh, Marquise de Lafayette, um, the Frenchman that fought in the American Revolution. Um, some of the things that um, I'm going to talk about in my research project is his um, starting off with his early life. Um, growing up in France, he was um, a aristocrat. He was very wealthy. He was very popular. He was definitely a socialite that um, basically lived the high life of France and was very popular. Um, the main, but however, the main thing I want to talk about with this research and the main question that I want to answer is um, how come this French aristocrat uh, fought in the American Revolution? Uh, he did not live in America. He lived in France. He basically essentially had no gain to winning. Um, the only thing he could lose is his life. Um, he has nothing to gain. He has everything to lose. Um, and I've narrowed it down to three reasons. Um, first off is a friendship that he had with um, Washington and Jefferson, Hamilton, people like that. Another thing, however, is a when he was growing up, and at this time in his life, there was lots of um, unrest in France. Um, politically, uh, with the king, um, lots of things were going on, and he didn't want to see another country go into that. Um, so that's another reason. Another reason is his love for democracy is, is kind of uh, piggybacking off of the second reason. Um, after that, um, in my research, I'll be looking at... Um, his work after the American Revolution. So the, re uh, the revolution over, is over, the Americans have won. Um, now what? Now what to do for Marquis de Lafayette? Um, well, he goes back to France and he tries to fix the, the French government, the French politics. Um, he tries to be, as one of my sources say, the Gaelic George Washington um, to try and get them out of political unrest. Um, this does not go well. Um, the French are not as excited or um, welcoming to their, to his, I should say, uh, American political style. Um, so that aspect of his life did not go very well. However, he was still rich. He was still aristocrat. He was still very popular. Um, and he had um, undying friendships with some of the most influential people in history. Um, my final fact about him is that he, um, to the day of his death, remained friends with George Washington. Um, he was still friends with people like uh, Alexander Hamilton before his death, um, years before his, um, and Thomas Jefferson. And the main reason why I chose Lafayette was because he was such a um, important role in the American Revolution. He fought. He uh, was a um, a counselor for people like Ham uh, Hamilton and Jefferson and Washington, and yet he does not get the. Um, recognition and the acknowledgement that those guys get. And so I, I'm doing this to kind of spread awareness of Lafayette and his accomplishments. So.